So what is Ethereum? As per the Ethereum official website, Ethereum is a decentralized platform that runs smart contracts, application that run exactly as program without the possibility of downtime, censorship, fraud or third party interference. So let's understand this definition in detail by understanding the terminology and core features of an Ethereum platform. In this video, we will talk about the core features of the Ethereum platform. Application An application in an Ethereum platform is referred to as DAP. DAP means decentralized application. A DAP typically comprises of a front end and a back end code. The front end code is developed using programming language like JavaScript. The front end code communicates with the back end code on the blockchain network. The backend code is referred to as a smart contract and is typically developed using a higher level language like Solidity. The smart contract runs on the decentralized Ethereum network. The DAP maps to the application layer of our reference architecture that we had described in the earlier videos. Now, the front end part of the DAP doesn't run on the Ethereum network. So, in an Ethereum context, a DAP could be simply referred to as the smart contract running in the Ethereum network. The next component is smart contract. So, we had talked about smart contract in the earlier videos. Smart contract defines an execute transaction in the form of a software code. It comprises of operation that act on the state of the blockchain. Smart contract acts as a digital contract which can be used to move any value and ownership of assets between parties in a given network or across networks. These contracts can be between a consumer to consumer like a wire transfer between individuals using the cell phone uh, without any intermediary, a business to business transaction like a trade finance contract where multiple parties are involved, for instance, exporter bank, importer bank, shipment vendor, or a business to consumer transaction like an insurance or a health contract which rewards people for their good health behaviors, or even between systems to systems which enables system to work in a secure and autonomous way, for instance, a contract that defines whether a new device can connect seamlessly to your connected home. The smart contract in an Ethereum network runs inside an Ethereum virtual machine and it's available on every node in the Ethereum network. Every node has the same copy of the smart contract and runs the same code or the logic. So we would go through the process of developing and deploying a smart contract uh, during this course of the video. The smart contract maps to the smart contract layer of our reference architecture that uh, we had uh, described in our earlier videos. The next component is Ether and Gas. Now, in order to run applications on the public Ethereum blockchain network, you need Ethers. Ethers is a form of a payment, a digital fuel that client applications need to pay in order to deploy the smart contract and executes its operation. Each operation requires some computation. This computation work is referred to as a gas. And different operations require different gas units, which is auto calculated by the system. And based on the gas required, the client needs to pay. The appropriate ethers. So think of ethers uh, being paid for gas as a software service fee for executing the code on the network. You can also think of ether as a form of digital currency similar to Bitcoin, but instead of using ethers as a market currency, the design of Ethereum platform uses ether as a means to run the decentralized applications. The next component is Ethereum Wallet. The Ethereum Wallet allows you to hold and secure Ethers and other crypto assets created 
on Ethereum platform. It allows you to write, deploy and use smart contracts. And during the course of this video, we look at how you can use Ethereum wallet to deploy smart contracts and execute it. The Ethereum wallet can be mapped to the application layer of our reference architecture that we had described in our earlier videos, which basically provides a capability to interact with our Ethereum network. The next component is consensus algorithm. We had described consensus algorithm in our earlier videos. Ethereum currently uses proof of work algorithm and the plan is to move to proof of stake at a later release. 